These are my crab stuffed mushrooms with cheddar. For stuffing mushrooms of any kind, I always par cook the mushrooms. So I put them in the oven for a few minutes, like eight, 10 minutes at a high temp, 425, 450. And I let them shrink and give off some of their juice with a little non aerosol cooking spray, salt and pepper. I then flip them over, put their butts up for a second, okay? And let them drain out so that when we stuff them, they're going to already be halfway there. We're going to make crab cheddar stuffing. If you wanna make this gluten-free, blow off the breadcrumb. All I use for breadcrumb for this is buttered toast or an English muffin, literally. I toast the English muffin and crumble it up in the food processor, or I toast toast, butter it, and crumble it in the food processor. But this works, and I've done it many times, with no bread whatsoever. Two uh, celery with the leafy top, one regular size rib or two ribs from the heart, finely chopped, two large shallots, I was grating in garlic when we started the segment, into melted butter. I'm adding, oh, three or four cloves of garlic too. You add the garlic later so it doesn't singe or burn or get bitter, okay? So two are shallots and our celery with leafy tops and the garlic in butter. We're going to add some sherry, two good turns of the pan and let it absorb. The alcohol will burn off, start to burn off as it condenses its, its flavor. We're going to add in bay, lots of fresh thyme, and fresh crab. Now I like king crab legs picked through. You can buy lump crab, any crab you like. You can even use canned crab, but no matter what crab you use, you have to always pick through crab you have to feel through it with your fingers and make sure there are no bits of shell or tendon still attached, okay? So whatever crab you want, we're going to put that in once this is cooked out and you can add the breadcrumbs or not, your choice. When it's cooled, it looks like this. You pull out the bay leaf. What really keeps this together is the cheese. You put in a, two cups per pound of cheddar, or in this case, horseradish smoked bacon cheddar. <laughs> so to our base over here, whether you can buy horseradish cheese or not, you simply add, it's your secret ingredient, a few forkfuls of prepared horseradish to the filling. So you're making, it tastes almost like, um, cocktail sauce, but there's no tomato in it, mixed up with the crab. Now, once we get this combined with copious amounts of Old Bay, because who makes crab without Old Bay? <laughs> we stuff it back in our par-cooked mushrooms and overstuff it. I mean overstuff it, like ridiculously overstuff the mushroom, like that, okay? It should look like another mushroom. Then we can roast them. Here are the crab stuffed horseradish cheddar mushrooms. And then we're gonna put a little parsley on the mushrooms with the cheddar. And what's crab's best friend? Old Bay! 